There was a time when the e economic development was basically conceptualized around a fundamental transformation in the sphere of production. So it's about industrialization, not only about industrialization, but mainly about industrialization, increasing your capabilities to manipulate nature and uh, create uh, wealth and so on. Now, unfortunately, in the last uh, three decades or so, that uh, part of uh, the story has been almost uh, surgically removed uh, from mainstream uh, development discourse. So it's uh, all about poverty reduction, all about uh, basic needs. I mean, not that those are wrong things, I mean, but they, they are just uh, the kind of one aspect of the development story. And uh, we are not uh, the encouraged uh, to think about how to get, for example, developing countries out of uh, dependence on primary commodities. We are warned against that uh, developing countries are trying to transform their productive structure through deliberate industrial policy, including protectionism and things like that. I mean, uh, there have been a number of uh, things going on uh, behind this, but uh, the most uh, important reason is that uh, we have been basically dominated by this uh, free market school or neoliberal uh, thinking, which thinks, well, I mean, uh, you basically trust that uh, the market will create uh, the best of all possible outcomes. And if uh, the market dictates that, some poor country exports only coffee rather than, I don't know, the, the iPod or semiconductor, then the, that's fine. Yeah. So the, actually, the, the, this uh, transformation in the development discourse is uh, very closely knitted with uh, the rise of free market thinking. Well, I think uh, the rise of uh, China is having two contradictory effects. Uh, one is uh, to prompt uh, some countries to think, oh my God, what have we done? I mean, we also need to compete with China in terms of, uh, the, you know, kind of uh, having better you know, manufacturing capacity and so on. But on the other hand, uh, some others are uh, exploited to argue that, yes, uh, actually now China is going to make everything. You know? We don't need to do those, do those things. And we just design and we uh, shift money, that, that we do clever financing, and uh, we can live on that. So I'm not sure what, what, which tendency will win. But you know, I, I think uh, at least uh, after the 2008 global financial crisis, there's uh, at least a, a bit more space to talk about industrial policy, you know, I mean, uh, especially in countries like Britain and America, industrial policy used to be a four-letter word, you know, I mean, uh, you just don't mention it in polite company. Now you at least are talking about it. I don't know what will exactly uh, come out of because, you know, once you destroy your production base, it's uh, very difficult to put it back together. And uh, since uh, this requires a lot of uh, effort, since it requires a lot of uh, short-term sacrifice, since it uh, the affects a lot, of, uh, implies that uh, offending powerful you know, financial interests and so on, uh, it's not clear whether you know, this will be taken up. But who knows? I mean, that uh, you know, in the end, that uh, the policies are decided on the street. You know, I mean, that uh, in democracies, at least, that uh, if uh, people want something badly they'll eventually get it. You know, it might take uh, 10 years, uh, 30 years, uh, 40 years, but you know. So that my hope is in the ordinary people wanting better jobs, wanting more secure jobs, uh, wanting uh, better life and so on. Uh, you know, in the short run, I'm a pessimist, you know, I mean, I, 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 but uh, you know, in the long run, I'm an optimist. You know, just think about it. I mean, only 200 years ago, a lot of people thought it was perfectly okay to buy and sell people. You know? I mean, 100 years ago, they put women in prison for asking for vote. You know, 50 years ago, all the founding fathers of today's developing nations were hunted down by the British and the French as uh, terrorists. You know, only 20 years ago, Mr. Thatcher said, anyone who thinks that uh, there'll be black majority rule in South Africa is uh, living in the cloud cuckoo land. But, you know, these things all have come true because uh, people fought for it. People wanted it. So yes, I mean, in the long run, I believe in human progress, but I mean, this is uh, different from saying that you know, only because there was this uh, major financial crisis that uh, two years you know, down the road, uh, we'll have uh, completely you know, reformed our financial system and you know, uh, that, uh, get a new society because uh, you know, people with uh, stake in the existing system uh, resist and 
even people who uh, benefit from reform have uh, uh, absorbed all these uh, the ideas uh, that justify the status quo and so on. So in the short run, changes are not easy, but in the long run, yes, I mean, I believe in human progress. And I have not been directly involved in the post-MDG conversation, but you know, I mean, uh, whenever I have a chance to talk about it, I uh, emphasize that we need to talk about jobs and production. And, okay, I mean, I'm not against any of the existing MDGs except for number eight, Global Development Partnership, which is uh, the very much uh, the molded uh, the, in a way that uh, suits the interest of the rich countries basically give them a bit of aid and then that, uh, force them into free trade and then they can trade their way out of poverty. I mean, uh, so that I'm uh, not very fond of that, but other goals like uh, increasing health and education, I mean, who can argue against it? But, you know, that we also need to talk about the means uh, through which we are going to achieve those goals, you know? And then, uh, you know, at the base that uh, you need to talk about transformation of the productive structure and as a link between that and uh, individuals you need to talk about jobs you know quality of jobs not just the quantity of jobs and uh, without uh, talking about those things uh, I think uh, that we'll be just you know, chasing these uh, the goals which yeah we one day we might achieve but then uh, is it going to lead to real development in the majority of uh, developing countries I doubt it. Yeah?